Hey everybody, it's Moonlight, the co-owner of Cat Chasers. And I get this question a lot. And I really want to help inspire people to make their own Gorilla Tag type game of their own. Now, this tutorial will show you how to set up everything with the, with the GD Local Motion. And by the end of this video, you should have like a really, really, really good local motion system in-game. Give you some tips. I'll let you off with a really good video, a really good tutorial video on people that actually want to start their own game. Now, I recommend like uh, a certain version of Unity. So we're going to open up Unity uh, Hub real quick. Um, once we open it, uh, should take a long. Uh, but in the description, you, I'm going to post the uh, local motion code. You're gonna, you're gonna need this. I'm gonna tell you how to set this up. So, uh, one uh, Let me, let me get, um, well, let me get to the source real quick. So, uh, yeah, this is the player script. Uh, main. Yeah, you're gonna need you're gonna need this package right here. So uh, we're, we're I'll post I'll post the package this this package. So here's what you're gonna do. So you're gonna go to your uh, Unity Hub, right? And you're going to create a new project, and you want this project to be on version two two thousand nineteen point thirty four. Now I'll post a description on that download, but you specifically want it to be. So you're just gonna name this. Um, I'm just gonna name it video uh, testing, just video testing, and we're just gonna make a simple 3D project. Once we make this simple 3D project, uh, we'll head to the next step. It won't be that hard at all. Uh, we'll just, I'll just tell you how to set up everything and all that. Uh, once we're in there, the players and everything. Uh, but yeah, um, I really, uh, really like. I feel like how many inspiring games there are right now. I can't wait to see what people can do with this movement because it's a really precious movement. It's really fun. It's a really, really, really good idea. And hey, yeah, just something to look forward to. So we're just gonna wait until this Unity project opens. It's almost open. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take this. So we'll we'll get to this later once this project opens and all that. Let me just close some tabs, side quest tab. No. Um, just wait, wait. I'm probably gonna upload this raw because I want to get like a really good tutorial out. But yeah, but you can always just skip, skip ahead. Skip. I'll put like timestamps or something in the in the video. Maybe. <sighs> Why not be consider editing it though? Uh, uh, we're we're good. We're good. Um, I'm actually helping somebody out right now with um, with this. But hey, if you want to get to like the Unity parts, just um, just skip ahead. Uh, seems like Unity's gonna open, and we are in. Don't ignore that. That's on mine. So we have our simple scene, right? Uh, now here's the easiest step. So we're gonna go to Files, Build Settings, now for a PC but you can also do this for Android it won't uh, uh, take you that long um, now uh, you're gonna go into player settings you're gonna go to XR plugins and uh, let me let me go XR settings we may turn on turn on virtual reality support and let me install the XR plugin management. Now, next, so next thing you're going to have to do is go to the download link. You're going to download this Gorilla Tag local motion right here. I do nothing yet. It's going to be there. Just, just let it sit there. Let's sit there for a moment once the XR and everything else uh, gets plugged in. You're going to wait. You're going to wait. You're going to wait. Huh. Yeah, hold on. Maybe, maybe, hold on. Let's just get everything running, every script running, and everything. <laughs> Sorry for how long the video is. But, but hey, just hit OK. Doesn't matter. And we're here. 
So you're going to hit Oculus since we are on an Oculus headset. I don't know anything about HDV Vibe or anything of those headsets. Like, I, I don't I, I don't fucking know, man. <sighs> I don't really know about those headsets. I'm, I'm Oculus standalone, so, yeah. Um, yeah, so once we're here, we can move on to the next step. So we have our movement and everything in here, and we should be Gucci. So we're going to clutch up and hit that. And right now we have, you're just going to put this in. This is like the most easiest step. Easiest step on on stuff. By the way, like I said, 2019.4.33. It'll be in the description. Everything in here. So you got the resources. Gorilla prefab. That's the gorilla rig. So we're going to mainly go to gorilla scenes and local motion scene. So we are here. So once you hit scenes, gorilla, local motion scene, this is your rig. This is all your rig. So check if you have all your scripts in. So you have the spheres, the gorilla rig. Gorilla rig should be fine. Has all the scripts. Let's check main camera. Main camera's fine. Right controller. Ooh, we're going to have to... Here. Uh, XR. Uh, oh, yeah. But, oh, fuck. Forgot. Uh, my bad. I One more step. Yeah, I go Windows. Package manager. Go, uh, um, not X. You're gonna need to go to, um, in a, yeah, in a, integration, integration toolkit. Yeah, once it lets me click, install the integration toolkit. But at least you have all your girl of the rig sets set up and all that. We're gonna just set up the controllers. And once we set up in the controllers, we shall be golden. Golden girl. No. <laughs> but yeah, if you have any questions about the next cat chasers up there or anything, just feel free to ask me. And the app labs things, uh, I like to do that once in a while. Um, I mostly do it on my free time. Uh, I'll probably do some tomorrow, actually. But it's kind of getting late. I have, like, a bunch of stuff to do tomorrow, so. I'm going to try to get this video out quickly for the homie. For the homie. Um, just going to wait. Remember, you can just skip. Skip the video. Skip around. Maybe confusing. But, yeah, this video is pretty simple. So, you're going to hit yes. Just, just ignore that. Hit importing, 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 importing. So just say go back and back up. You're gonna save and wait. That I'm just gonna check my Discord. Yep. Just things about the. Things and then here's my friend. Yeah, <laughs> gave me the idea, or I, I thought of myself. Um, but yeah, let me just just wait. Just hit the timestamp. You know, just skip around. Remember, just for uploading the scroll. Not even gonna edit it. Um, but yeah, it's probably we're probably the only first tutorial video to actually show how to how to do this. So you are going to, and we're golden, I think. Let me hit the gorilla player. Let me check the right. Oh. Huh. So yeah, we're just gonna bring those scripts back. Don't, uh, don't, don't, don't do what I. Um, and I think we can test this, I think. Hmm, sorry. We, can we use XR Origin? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just play test it. Let me, let me, let me, 
Okay, I'm, I'm loading up my editor right now. I'm gonna test it. Ooh, crap, my headset's low. We're at launch. We're launching right now. We're at test if this works. If it works, then golden. If it doesn't, then yeah, then I'll figure it out. Then no, edit it, and then I'll have to edit it. But I'm pretty sure it should work. If we test it, launch it twice. So we're in the uh, thing right now. So we're gonna hit play. And matter of fact, it does. It works. It is golden. We are golden. So right now my headset's a little laggy since it's at like three percent, but it works fine. It works pretty fine. Should be good for you actually. So yeah. Uh. Yeah. So yeah, that's really good. Um. It was just a little laggy for me, but it works perfectly. It works perfectly fine. It says XR use, uh, so you know you want to like switch that to XR Origin. But um, me right now, um, I'm, so I'll, I'll set I'll set I'll set it up. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, actually, nope. Hold on. May be able to fix this. So you're gonna remove this component. You're gonna add the XR Origin. Yep. And. Freak. Uh. T so we're gonna put this to 2.5. We're gonna put this to main camera. We're gonna put this to Gorilla Player. Then we can finally remove that component up here. This is what you have to put it at and we are settled. So thank you so much for joining in and that's how you make the gorilla tag local motion or set it up. Um, sorry if the video was too long, but yeah, hey, um, if you want, I can show you how to set up norm. You could learn how to set up norm core. Norm core took me like two minutes to do. If you want another tutorial on how to set up multiplayer with the Gorilla Tag Local Motion, then just leave a comment or like if the video goes big, then yeah, but thanks for joining and goodbye.